So we're getting ready. What we're doing right here is we're using these collars with our laser to pick out exactly where our exhaust is gonna go out. That is that little laser that you see right there is straight up from that. And then the other one will go right there and it'll go out there. And this is where our, actually not go out, but this is where our feed air is gonna come in. One's gonna come off to the side and go over to this air handler right there. Feed this side one is dropping into the air handler right here feeding into that corner of the room and through pressurization it, and mixing it'll flow into this room positive pressure this room and the exhaust is in this carbon canister that we built this is our cabinet that'll have the um, highly activated carbon in it and then the room will be positive and the uh, pressure of the air will just shoot the exhaust gases out of the room going through carbon scrubbers and up onto the roof so the cleanest air you could grab from is from your roof or two stories up up here two or three and so that's your cleanest air is off the roof instead of taking it out of ground level so we're taking our clean air up there pushing it into the room going through a HEPA filter and then later on this same system will be tied in to five or six more rooms just like this one we're standing on going like another three rooms over there and another two rooms over there and it'll literally pressure feed clean HEPA filtered air through all the rooms positively pressurize all the rooms and then all exhaust back out to the roof through one system using a system of dampeners and um, zone control and some uh, weighted balancing dampeners for the exhaust just to keep a little bit of back pressure because the rooms are going to be like oh, 0 0.02 psi or, or water column inches of water column positive pressure but like every hour for about 10 minutes the vfd will turn up the dampeners for one individual room will flush the room do a uh, flush every couple hours for 10 minutes and then turn off and then keep that plenum positively pressured because all the other rooms would be positively pressured and then uh, then the next room and then the next room and then the next and the next and the next so no two rooms at any one time will be fed by the HEPA system it'll all be staggered uh, but everything will come out of one central point for the carbon which there'll be another one for all the rooms this was the prototype room so this room is like the prototype of what all the other rooms will be but the only difference is is where you see the ceiling height where my feet are standing on this is like a two foot thick foam roof on the other rooms it's going to be up another right where you see the pipes it's just going to come under the pipes there so the height of this ceiling instead of being 12 feet it's going to be 16 feet or 18 feet high and all this material that you see inside here will all be contained within the room so you have no worry of air leakage or anything like that because everything will be self-contained so that's uh, what's going on here. See you guys later.